right, so let's go ahead and get started with the review here today. All right, so our first question says, find the component form uh, and magnitude of the vector V. All right, so first component form, uh, remember this is going to be our initial point is P1, P2, and our terminal point is Q1, Q2. All right, and to find component form, all right, our vector V, all right, um, we simply just take Q1 minus P1 and Q2 minus P2. So our vector V, 7 minus 0 is 7, and 3 minus 10 is negative 7. All right, so there's our vector V in component form. And then to find the magnitude of V, all right, we simply take the square root of the sum of each component squared. So the square root of 7 squared plus negative 7 squared, all right, which is going to be 49 plus 49, which is the square root of 98. All right. Now, of course, that can be simplified. Uh, we know that this is 49 times 2, all right? So this would just be uh, 7 square roots of 2. And that's it for problem 1. All right, problem 2, same concept. All right, so my vector V, 15 minus 1 is 14. And 9 minus 5 is 4. So now to find the magnitude, again, we take the square root of the sum of the components squared. All right, so this will be uh, 196 plus 16. Uh, so that's 212. Uh, let's see, 4 definitely goes into there, but let's see if there's a larger one. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so, so this would just be uh, 2 square roots of 53. And that's it for the first section. All right, next section for the following vectors. Find A, U plus V, B, U minus V, C, 3U, and D, 2V plus 5U. Then sketch each resultant vector. Okay, so I don't know if we have enough room for all that, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so first I will do U plus V. Right, of course, to add two vectors, all I do is add their corresponding components, right? So 4 plus 0 will give me 4, and 5 plus negative 1 will also give me 4. Right, and I'll graph them all on the same grid at the end, right? So next I'll do u minus v. All right, so same concept, except now I'm doing 4 minus 0, which again gives me 4, and 5 minus negative 1, which is 6, uh, 3u. All right, all I have to do here is multiply each component of u by 3, so 12, 15. All right, and 2v plus 5u. All right, so first 2v is going to be 0, negative 2. Oops, jumped ahead of myself. All right, I'm going to be adding that to uh, 5u. 5u will be 20, 25. And when I add those together, 0 plus 20 is 20. 
and negative 2 plus 25 is 23. Okay, so now if I want to graph these things, um, remember once we put them in component form, basically it's always coming um, from uh, the origin. So I'll just make some grid here. All right, 4, 4. All right, so if I went to the right 4 and up 4, I could say that this would be 4, 4. And just label it, right? This would be u plus v, right? 4, 6. So 4, and I guess I should have labeled it below. Would have made it easier. 4, 6 would be the same but up here. So that would be u minus v. All right, 12, 15. So 12, 15. That would be 3u. All right, and then 20, 23 would be way up here somewhere. All right, so that would be 2v plus 5u. All right, hopefully they wouldn't all be kind of mashed together like that and in the same uh, quadrant, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so here, uh, and do remember that when you, like, the, the very end tip of the vector has to be on the point that's given, right? Like, you can't go through it and go past it. You can't stop short. It does have to be exact, because remember that one of the important things about vectors is the magnitude, which is the length. All right, so do kind of be mindful of that. All right, so here we're doing the same thing, uh, given vectors, but now we're given vectors in component form. That's fine. It's actually almost identically the same. 2i minus j is the same thing as 2 comma negative 1, right, if it's in component form. So very similar, just with i's and j's after our numbers here. All right, so we're doing the same thing. Uh, u plus v. 2i plus 5i is 7i. And negative j plus 3j is positive 2j. u minus v. So 2i minus 5i is negative 3i. And negative j minus 3j is negative 4j. 3 times u. All right, so here. Uh, 3 times 2i is 6i, and 3 times uh, negative j is negative 3j. And 2v plus 5u. Alright, so again, uh, 2v is going to be 4i minus 2j. And we're going to be adding that to 5u. And you really should put these in parentheses. With addition, it's not really going to matter. But if you are subtracting, you would need to remember to kind of distribute the negative to the second piece. With this, it's not really going to matter. Um, oh, actually, I just did 2u. So I messed that up instead of doing 2v. So 2v is going to be 10i. Uh, plus 6j, all right, and 5u will be 10i uh, minus 5j, all right, so now when we add these together, 10i and 10i are 20i, and 6j plus negative 5j is plus 1j, or just plus j. All right, so now if I want to graph all of these. All right, so first, uh, 7i plus 2j, so over 7, up 2. All right, um, so this would be u plus v, u minus v. Uh, negative 3, negative 
four. That would be u minus v. All right, three u, uh, six i minus three j. Somewhere over here. So that would be three u. And then two v plus five j. Twenty uh, i would be way over here somewhere. And plus j, just plus 1. So that would be 2v plus 5v. All right. Moving on. Find a unit vector in the direction of the given vector. All right. So remember to find a unit vector. We just take our vector and we divide it by its own magnitude, okay? So here, the magnitude of V is going to be the square root of negative 12 squared plus 15 squared. All right, well, negative 12 squared is 144, and 15 squared is 225. So that will be the square root of 369. All right, so uh, now when we do our unit vector, all right, it's going to be, uh, well, negative 12 over root 369, comma 15 over root 369. So we would rationalize these things and we would get uh, negative 12 root 369 over 369 and 15 root 369 over 369. All right. And uh, that can actually be simplified. Uh, 3 goes into both of these evenly. So negative 4 root 369 over 123. <clears throat> 3 goes into both of these evenly as well. So 5 root 369 over 123. So got a little messy, but still very doable. All right, number 7. Same thing here. So first we want to find the magnitude of W. And that is the square root of 4 squared plus negative 7 squared. And that's 16 uh, plus 49. So 65. Right, so now our unit vector U will be uh, 4 over root 65, so that's just going to be 4 root 65 over 65, comma, negative 7 root 65 over 65. I just kind of skipped the step of going here and then rationalizing. I just jumped straight to rationalizing, um, and nothing can be reduced there, so we're done. Right here, it's the same concept, um, except now we're in uh, as a linear combination instead of component form. That's fine. I can still find uh, the magnitude here first, which will be the square root of 5 squared plus negative 2 squared, which will be the square root of 29. All right, so my unit vector will be... Uh, it would be 5 over root 29i, so 5 root 29 over 29i, and then it would be negative 2 over root 29, so uh, negative 2 root 29 over 29j. Down there, All right. same concept here, let's find our magnitude first, so the square root of 7 squared plus 9 squared 
All right, so that's going to be 49 plus 81, uh, which is 130. So uh, this would be 7 over root 30. So this would be 7 root 130, sorry, over 130. I, and then this would be 9 over root 30. So plus 9 root 130 over 130. And that's it. Those are our unit vectors. Alright, so I can move to the next page here. Write the vector with the given initial point P and terminal point Q as a linear combination. So this is similar to what we did with those very first problems. Of course, we don't have to find the magnitude also. But instead of putting them in our pointy brackets for component form, we're using our i's and our j's. All right? so my vector v here, 1 minus negative 8 would be 9, so 9i. And negative 5 minus 3 would be negative 8, so negative 8j. Fairly straightforward here. So we'll do the same thing for 12. So 7 minus 13 would be negative 6i. And 7 minus negative 2 would be positive 9j. All right, 13. Doing the same stuff here. All right, so 17 minus negative 9 would be 26 i and 12 minus 4 would be positive 8 j 34 minus 4 would be 30 i and negative 23 minus negative 10 would be negative 13 j all right i'll find the dot product of u and v the dot product, u dot v, is equal to u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. So we're just multiplying their corresponding components and adding them together. So here, uh, u dot v would equal negative 3 times 2 plus negative 7 times 9. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, uh, plus negative 7 times 9 is negative 63. So this would just be negative 69. All right, next one again, u dot v, 5 times 7 is 35, plus negative 8 times 0 is 0. So this is just 35. Clearly the second time I showed a little less work. I'm going to show more the first time just as for demonstration purposes. Okay. So now it says use the vectors u is equal to 3, negative 5, and v is equal to 4, 2 to find the indicated quantity. So u dot, v, uh, u, dot u, right, is just uh, 3, negative 5 dotted with 3, negative 5, so that's just going to equal uh, 9 plus 25, which will equal 34. All right, next, the magnitude of V minus 3. So first, I'll find the magnitude of V, which is the square root of 16 plus 4, right? 4 squared plus 2 squared, so that's the square root of 20, which can be reduced to two square roots of five, right? So, and we don't really have to worry. You don't have to change that to a decimal and, you know, you can just leave it. We can say, okay, two square roots of five minus three. You can leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. All right, next, 4v dot u. All right, so first I need to multiply my vector v by four. So when I do that, I'm going to get 16, 8. And then I'm going to be dotting that with vector u, which is 
3, negative 5. So when I dot these, 16 times 3 is 48, plus 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. So that's just going to be 8. Right. u dot v times u, right? So first, uh, u dot v is going to equal 3 times 4 plus negative 5 times 2. So when I do that, I will get 12 plus negative 10, which is just 2. All right. Uh, so now, we will just simply, this becomes 2u. So when I multiply 2 times my vector u, I will get 6, negative 10. And that is it for that. All right. Find the angle theta between the vectors. All right, so... Uh, here, our formula for the uh, angle between two vectors, we have cosine of theta is equal to u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Alright, so for u, alright. Here I will find, first I'll find u dot v. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 times 5 is 5, so that is equal to 17. Right? I will also need the magnitude of u, which will be the square root of 9 plus 1, right? which would just be the square root of 10. And the magnitude of V will equal uh, the square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared. So 16 plus 25 is 41. So when I plug all of this information into this formula, we will get cosine of theta is equal to 17 over the square root of 10 times the square root of 41. You could simplify that if you want. Um, of course, that would just be the square root of 410. All right, but you don't really have to worry about that because in order to find our theta, we're just simply going to have to take the inverse cosine of both sides. And since you'll just be plugging that into a calculator, it's just going to end up giving you uh, some value back anyway. So you can look here and say the inverse cosine of 17 over square root of 41 times the square root of 10. Uh, do make sure uh, that you're in degree mode. Uh, obviously I am, of course, so you can just hit your mode here and I can see that I'm in degree, so I'm good to go. Right, but anyway, that gave us 32.9 degrees. So there you go. It is 32.9 degrees. We're going to be doing the same thing over here, except now we're uh, kind of dealing with, uh, well, um, no, this is kind of odd. One of them is, is a linear combination. The other one is in component form, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. All right, so we can still look at u dot v. All right, and that is going to be uh, 2 root 2 times a negative root 2, and then plus negative 4 times 1. So this will be negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Plus this is also negative 4. So that's just negative 8. All right. Um, our magnitude of u will equal the square root of negative root 2 squared is just 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3, so the square root of 3. And the magnitude of v 
Um, 2 root 2 squared will be 4 times 2, which is 8. Um, and then negative 4 squared is 16. So 8 plus 16 is 24. So now I just plug all of this information into this formula again. So cosine of theta is equal to negative 8 over the square root of 3 times the square root of 